Does anyone even remember Chalk Zone? No one even mentions this as their favorite Nicktoon. No one mentions this as much at all when it comes to early 2000s Nicktoons. This is not because it's a bad show. On contraire, it is probably one of the most underrated Nicktoons. Welcome back to Nick Fan Art turned into over a month because I'm so lazy and ADHD ridden that I keep pushing back things I need to do when I do other stuff like being obsessed with, I don't know, reading about degenerate art for a week. And, and then, you know, I got into Animal Crossing again and then I got into organizing all my books and manga. It's a long thing. But, whatever, if you like talking about art, fan art, old weird cartoons, cringy 14-year-old sketchbooks, and weeaboo things, subscribe. This is an art channel, so if you like that, please sub. I'm on the road to a thousand! Anyway, I rediscovered Chalk Zone because I wanted to do a patron request part of this whole Nick fan art whatever. When one of my dear patrons, Bumblebee, suggested Penny from Chalk Zone, and I was like, who? I barely remember the Chalk Zone. So I dug up a few episodes, and oh my god, the creativity just ignited me. If you don't know what Chalk Zone is about, it's about Rudy Tabuti who can go to a place called Chalk Zone, a world where chalk drawings live. He's joined by his bestie, Snap and Penny, where they draw things in the world with magic chalk. This show uses the setting to do a lot of weird creative things, like what happens when a drawing is only half erased or just the weird citizens of Chalk Zone. But it's also about kids expressing themselves and solving problems through art and sometimes, in Rudy's case, getting into trouble. I have to admit, I always wanted to draw a portal and go to another world and I might have tried as a kid. Is Chalk Zone an isekai? I can't help but think while watching this that the show was made too soon. Now hear me out. What I mean by that is... This show had all of the fixings to be something great. This show had all the fixings to be something much bigger, bigger in scope, bigger in storyline, maybe even something ongoing. And apparently the creators wanted to do that as well. And also leave out the show on a great note and give it a conclusive ending. A lot like, well, shows and I should say, cartoons do in the modern day. I mean, stuff like Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, Adventure Time. All of those kind of shows had the aspects that the creators wanted to put in Chalk Zone, but at the time, cartoons were just supposed to be episodic, not really have an ending or do the whole continuity thing, because they were just cartoons. And it's not until much later that they became more serialized. Just like at TV got more serialized over the years. And part of me thinks, man, if Chalk Zone was made just 10 years later, it could have had a way different feel and a way different way, like, they even crafted the stories. However, it was unique at its time because it had three segments and a music video in nearly every episode. While rewatching it, I was like, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. But I could see a little bit of reasons why this probably didn't take off or people don't remember it as fondly. One of the things is the three segments kind of works against it. It makes the stories very short and concise. And yeah, they're still fun stories. But I feel like even if they couldn't really do what they wanted to do because of, you know, just cartoons at the time, that having two 10 minute episodes or two maybe nine minute episodes to leave room for that music video at the end would have been way better. Or, you know, have a maybe a little musical segment within the episode itself, like part of the whole plot. Something that really wasn't done as often until, well, 2010's cartoons. It's just, there's a lot of things about Chalk Zone I think would work better if it came out now. So. It could just be formatted in a different way than it was before. Does that sentence even make sense? Anyway, another thing is Rudy getting more arrogant at the show as 
Another thing that I didn't like was Rudy getting more arrogant as I saw the show go on. And it really comes to a head in the big blow up. The big blow up was like a special big episode where they used the entire runtime to do the story. And you could tell that, holy crap, this should have probably been like a movie pretty much because they have to rush through so many things in that plot. And it added a little bit more lore to Chalk World. Well, a little bit more, and it added a little bit more lore to Chalk Zone. It's just that the show, it had so much more potential and more potential that the creators themselves, allegedly, because I'm getting a lot of this info secondhand, is that they wanted to put into this themselves. But also Nickelodeon just didn't really give it a good chance. It came in, it was a really highly rated premiere, but then they kept moving around the time slot to death time slots. And one of the main reasons that I didn't see a lot of it was one, I didn't have cable during the time it was on, and so I would only watch it when I was at my friend's house or whatever. And when I did have cable, there was no repeats and or whatever. And yeah, it was on Nicktoons a bit, but yeah. You can get it all on Amazon, because it's on Amazon Video, you gotta pay for each of the episodes. And there were DVDs that came out, and there's even an episode that the Baja Men showed up in. Because, you know, 2000s, Y2K. I went on Twitter and asked people, hey, do you remember Chalk Zone? Okay, Editing Vega here. I just found out that Chalk Zone is on CBS All Access, as well as a bunch of other Nick shows. So, huh, I guess there's a reason to get CBS All Access other than just Star Trek Picard, which is... Pretty much the only reason why I even used that for a while. Anyway, it was just a bunch of tweets just talking about, yeah, I remember it. And it was good. It was imaginative. And one of the best things I liked about it was actually the style. When they went to Chalk Zone, it was Chalk Zone. With the lines looking like chalk, everything looking like chalk. And you think, of course, it's Chalk Zone. But they could have just made it kind of like some whatever world that just happened to be made out of chalk, but it looks like regular items. But they went all the way with the chalk aesthetic. Also, some of those songs, like Bucket Full of Yum, just gets stuck in your head. So a lot of people just remember it fondly, but you don't really see many people all about like, yeah, Chalk Zone! I remember that. It's always about the other Nicktoons. Rocco, Rugrats, Doug, Red and Stimpy. Uh, that's a whole story. But yeah, it was really fun just going back in time for a bit and watching Chalk Zone again just to get the feel for it. One episode that really stood out to me was the one where Rudy, Penny, and like, it was the episode where Rudy and Penny's class were sent to this special, you know, one of those special workshops that people who visit the school do of and it was about what's real and what's not when it comes to art and yeah, it was very on the nose that one, art is subjective and realistic art isn't better than cartoons or abstract art and I could probably write an entire essay about the this episode and how it's and how its antagonist kind of embodies the ideas of degenerate art and the history of degenerate art. But yeah, that's getting pretty deep on this. Anyway, about the art I'm doing in the background, this is Penny from Chalk Zone. Penny Sanchez, who's basically like the smart science girl. And I heard that originally this story, like all of Chalk Zone, the show was going to end with, you know, Rudy going less and less as he grows up but him and penny does get together in college while he studies art and she studies science and i'm like oh it would be really cute to see them go on a honeymoon in chalk zone though but yeah uh now that i know it's actually streaming again in a more accessible place and a little bit better than amazon then definitely go check out chalk zone underrated nicktoon I'm just calling now, underrated. 
Name me another one in the comments. I'm sure you got a lot to argue with me about whether Chalk Zone is underrated or not. Cat Scratch? I don't know her. Uh, freaking... What other freaking Nicktoon? Yeah, any... Like, a lot of things in the 2000s to 2010... In 2010s, when it comes to Nicktoons, I kind of fell off of. I think the last one I really liked after Chalk Zone was My Life as a Teenage Robot. Which was on a short list for this Nicktoons something or other I was doing. Anyway, my future episodes are going to be a bit different. I wanted to try doing like a themed week, but then life kind of get got in the way and, well, my own brain got in the way. Let's be responsible here and take responsibility for that. So I don't know what November and December is going to bring, but it would help if you spread around the videos. I am a fledgling channel after all, and I really want to get better at making content and get more eyes seeing it and stuff like that. If not, uh, whatever. Downvote, whatevs. But if you did watch this, thank you so much and thank all of these patrons. And bye!